Hey y'all, it's Chris with Rockin' 8 Farm coming to you here from Central Texas. So I guess the first question I have today is, what is all this white stuff? So snow in Central Texas is not unheard of. Um, we might even get it once a year, every year, or in an odd year, get it a couple of times. But snow here is not, you know, a normal thing. So obviously when we get snow here in Central Texas, just like all other Central Texans, it's time to go nuts, so let's film a YouTube video. Even the animals are trying to figure out exactly what's going on. You know, it's kind of funny because, um, you know, I mean, I don't exactly know the brain capacity of all animals, but like for at least one of our dogs, literally the first time in this animal's life that it has ever seen snow. For those guineas, first time in their life they have ever seen snow. They're not quite sure what to do with it. With the chickens, we've got a few of them outside, but by and large, I think the vast majority of them are in the coop. They're like, mm, this is a little weird for us. So I'm coming out right now because I've just got to do a few things. Um, I've got to throw a little feed out for the guineas. I'm going to give the chickens something to keep them occupied since they're cooped up. <laughs> Love where sayings come from. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll show you what I do to kind of entertain the chickens so that they don't start picking on each other. That's all there is to that. One little flake of hay, that's gonna keep those chickens busy for hours as they start to just pick through it and have a good time with it. I gotta check and make sure that uh, water isn't frozen. Um, generally speaking here, we make sure that, or try to make sure the water doesn't freeze at night during the winter, but it's not an issue during the day. Today it's staying cold enough to snow, so um, I just gotta make sure water's good and uh, check on the piglets and see how they're doing. Another animal, first time in their life they've ever seen snow. Water's still flowing good for the chickens. The hoses aren't freezing up or anything. It's actually, I just checked, it's actually above freezing because it doesn't have to be freezing to snow. So um, we're right about 35, 36 right now. Um, and since the water is flowing through the hoses, it's not getting slushy or anything. So like I said, I'm sure all of my friends that are foolish enough to live in places like Minnesota and New Hampshire and Northern Idaho, <laughs> goofballs, they think this is no big deal at all because you know they're they're in like 12 feet of snow right now and they're just inside doing northern people stuff but like i said for us here in central texas this is very unusual but it's kind of nice how every once in a while the weather reminds you to just kind of take a day off and relax so we'll be back at it come monday after work and through the week and into next weekend i've got some good ideas for videos i want to shoot over the next couple of weeks so uh we'll put together the timelines for those that's the kind of stuff i can go to or do today what today is for me personally an awesome day is it is an awesome day to go through seed catalogs chicken catalogs all of that good stuff and decide what it is that i'm gonna uh, invest in in the garden and the flock for the next year so our big thing today is just that we're really just enjoying the, the the beauty of the snow on the farm. This is the first time we've seen snow on this farm and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I'm glad that it's kind of a one or two time occurrence because if I wanted to live somewhere where it snowed, I would live somewhere where it snowed. So I guess the big takeaway I want for everybody is the same thing that I ask you to take away every week when I film a video and that is, until I see you again, be happy and live healthy.